What is going on, guys? We are back with the Legacy Cowboys franchise, and we are in the first playoff game of the league, and hopefully not the only. This is, uh, I don't know if you guys seen all the upgrades, but you see Lyle Collins. He's a beast. He is a monster. This offensive line is sick. I will say, in the offseason, there may be a trade involving one of those linemen. Might even be Kirkland. <laughs> no one cares if it's Kirkland. Uh, but of course, we're going against the Seahawks. Not saying we planned it, but a few weeks back, we did injure Russell Wilson for the rest of the season. And uh, it's definitely going to come into play here as we're playing them in the playoffs. Wish we would have had a bye week, but at the same time, it's all right because we're playing the Seahawks. Uh, one of the worst teams to, like, best teams for us just because of that Russell Wilson injury. Not saying it's a guaranteed win, but obviously when uh, a team loses their star player, it, it obviously helps a, a few things uh, there. Try to get back. Did not have it at all. I thought we were going to, though. Second and five. Nice throw to Dez. Oh, look at Dez. He's feeling it. He is feeling the playoffs. You never see that from Dez uh, in the regular season, but there it is today. First and ten, we take a sack there. We do not need that, especially from a cornerback. We we have to see that coming. Second and 20 now. Dak, time, throws it. Switzer, look at Switzer making a move on Sherman almost. Down to this 32-yard line. Third and two. That's basically 32 combined together. Switzer catches it. Looks like it could be short, and it is a first down, luckily. First and ten from the 29-yard line. We have plenty of people open over the middle. Switzer drops it, sadly. Five minutes in the first quarter. We're having a decent drive first uh, in the playoffs. And here's a good throw. And it's going to be dropped again. That's a tough animation, but I really didn't want that animation. We have an injury going deep to Witten. Almost intercepted. Luckily, it wasn't. And uh, the drive stalls. And here we go with Lyle Collins talking about the man himself. High ankle sprain. Uh, he will be out for the game. But still, if we can win, it won't matter. But... With the way we stalled there, you never know. You never know. Third and eight from the 36-yard line. Defense can get off the field early. And they call pass interference there. That apparently, I don't know what the hell happened there. I didn't even touch him. Apparently, it's pass interference. I don't know what to tell you. Second and eight drop pass to the outside. Third and eight again. 46-yard line. Looks like we're going to get some pressure, and we do. It's a fumble. Hit stick. The recovery, and we're going to take this into the end zone. And there's a backstory to this celebration. I don't really want to get into it, but uh, let's just say people thought that that pass interference that I was, uh, well, not people, but some people thought that the pass interference, uh, I was saying that was BS that he accepted it because apparently I pushed him off his route. You guys seen it. Clear as day. I mean, I know what people are talking about, but that was not a push off at all. Oh, look at Bird. Look at Bird taking that back to the house. So more importantly... Versus all that drama, we get a second touchdown. Just like that, the game is kind of opening up for us. First and ten. Sack Demarcus Lawrence. Team is starting to dominate at this point, and there it goes. Rawls making people miss. It's third. It's going to be a third and four now. Huge third down. We can convert this. This would be nice for him. Over the middle. Catches it. Gets the, gets the conversion and then some. Huge play down the field. 34-yard line, second and 10. We've been doing okay against the ground game this week, which is really shocking because usually we're pretty bad. Uh, Exum on the blitz gets uh, gets a sack, and Exum going to give it to you. Third and 20, almost over the middle. And where, I mean, at this point, the Seahawks line is just being the Seahawks line. He does get uh, a – wait, did he – no, he already had the – did he have the field goal? Honestly, can't remember. Third and 11, though. Dak has some time finding Bennett – going to be short so we will have to punt it but still defense is playing very well third and two could get off the field again and we're going to get beat here throws it over the middle though and that's going to be a huge hit stick so fourth and two it will be a punt with about four minutes left or will it be a fake and that's a great user with us on hitchens uh almost getting the pick there i don't know why we uh we just can't pick the ball off the, the sliders are really high um i know it's probably still um Technically, with I don't know if it's actually all Madden or not, but technically the sliders are still a little rough. But for the most part, we should be picking that. I don't know why we're not. Second and one to the outside, throwing to Dez. I mean, 
I'm not saying Dez is even that great of a receiver. Like, I think we have one of the worst receiving cores in the league. But I still supposedly trust him. Uh, I think if it wasn't for the tight end core, I think we would have one of the worst. Um, but we have a lot of upside, I guess. Is Like, right now, we're not nearly the best. That was such a late throw. We're not nearly the best. But I think after this next season, we should be a lot better. And I'm not saying that because I know something. Good touchdown there, Foreman. Not that I know anything, it's just that uh, the guys we have now, Superstar Dev, they're young. You know, hopefully we can actually do something. And there's a fumble, and our guy kicks it out. So, how is that a third down? That's clearly a first down. And because of that BS, he's going to have to pump the ball. I don't, I don't understand that. The ball was clearly kicked over the line, unless it was a different drive, and I just edited it together like that. I have no clue. Elliot, oh my god, that spin move is so sick. Uh, we have 91 in the stiff, spin, and juke move category. Uh, we want I want to get trucking, but the prices are too high on that. Third and 11 there after the drop. Trying to get something done before half. I mean, I think any team in real life would try to, especially if they're already starting off strong. And that's pretty much going to end the half. Or will it? With five seconds left, fourth and 19, we trust our offensive line enough to give us time. And it looked like it was a good decision. So far, we're going to take a shot deep. Not going to get to the end zone, although Ty Montgomery kind of slipped behind the coverage. Almost had himself a, a tip touchdown. Third quarter, still not over. It's the playoffs. You know, we, we like to choke away games. Usually, we finish stronger than we start. So the fact that we're starting strong means we're probably going to finish poorly. Uh, not saying that's insight again, but you know what I'm saying. And there's a drop pick again. Almost caught for a nice first down. I really wonder how this game would have played out if he had Russell Wilson. Like, don't get me wrong, his quarterback's not missing every throw, but obviously, just from a confidence standpoint, like some like earlier in this season with Dak, I would just sometimes not even throw the ball. What a good, good throw and catch. Sometimes I just wouldn't even throw the ball if I know that Dak isn't gonna make the throw, because it's just why, you know, you're gonna risk an interception or whatnot. And Rawls, the power running through for a touchdown. Like I said, it's never over. Only up by 14 right now. Uh, to the outside, Elliott gets the catch, and that is a nice little first down. 44-yard line, throwing the ball. Dak has time to the outside. First down for Bennett. Nice little throw there. Always trying to go for more, even though we have the first down. Speaking of, right here, A is wide open, and instead of taking him, we take a 17-yard sack. I mean, that's the type of stuff that loses you games if you're in a closer one. You know, I mean, who knows how that plays out. Here underneath, Elliot drops it. That's a huge drop. Not an easy catch to make, but still a very huge drop. Third and 27, going to try to set up a punt. Foreman, though. Get, oh, look at the cutback. Deontay Foreman getting a nice chunk of change there. And that, you know, the punt should set up nicely. Here, a little bit of lag for us. Almost intercepted. That ball was on target. That would have been picked off. So, at the same time, Russell Wilson being there probably would have been picked. Bird gets tripped up by his own guy. That might have been another touchdown for him because he is a fast man. He's like 96 speed or something ridiculous. Second and 10 for the 33-yard line. Elliott running the ball, and Elliott gets about nine yards. One man to beat there. Would have probably been a touchdown. It's, uh, third and two underneath. Bennett gets the catch and then runs a man over. That's why I love Bennett. Bennett is so awesome. Like, Yeah, he's not going to make the craziest catches, but when he does... He's got that ability after the catch. There you go. Good catch by Ty Montgomery. Second and four now. The clock has remained, or the clock is gone now in the third quarter, and Bennett, as easy as it comes, he's got some decent route running ability, gets the touchdown. 31 to 10. Ooh, nice find to the outside, and he's got speed. That's Tyler Lockett, I believe, getting a huge gain around the outside. Uh, he changed quarterbacks. Chase Daniel is now in the game. Uh, actually, might have been in for a while. It's just I don't notice. The quarterbacks tip ball. Grugier Hill almost just iced the game there. And over the middle, finds a man, gets the first down, down to the nine-yard line. First and goal from the nine. Six minutes and 40 seconds. Six minutes and 30 seconds in the fourth, and we get a sack there. Good bring down. David Irvin with three and a half sacks this game. That is an impressive one. Second and goal over the middle. Dropped again. We just drop every pick. Fourth and goal now from the 29. Under pressure. One-on-one. -on -one and 
I thought he caught it. I thought he caught it, but he did not. And third and two, going to run the ball with Foreman, who gets a crease on the outside, running a man over, running through a man. Oh, my Lord. We have quite possibly the best tandem in the league because you got Elliott, who just does everything, and then you got Foreman, who never goes down without at least taking a body with him. And Dak to the outside, first and ten, a little underneath throw to Morris. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Morris just scores a touchdown. Morris scores a touchdown. You've got to be kidding me there. I don't know how he did it. His stats aren't even that great. Ooh, I thought that was picked off. Fourth and six. I mean, that's going to be pretty much the game, and it is. So we move on to the divisional game. And uh, you guys should probably know by now who we're probably playing. 38 to 10, though. That's a, It's an impressive win. Even without Russell Wilson, it's still an impressive win. Seahawks defense is very hard to score on, even though we did... We probably had, you know, a couple of short field situations. We had a punt return touchdown. Bird was a big difference maker. Uh, field position was nice that game. Uh, 17 in the first and then 7 across. Not bad for consistency. Uh, there was not really... Was there any crazy plays that game? I can't really remember. I, I think we had... Uh, well, the Alfred Morris one was kind of crazy. Uh, Elliot just kind of silently went off. I don't... I mean, he probably had over 100 like usual, but... Kind of silently went off. Bennett had a pretty good game himself. Uh, Morris, that was an amazing play. Just ran over like three players to get into the end zone. Birds was pretty cool. The punt return was actually kind of cool, I suppose. You know, cut it from all the way from the right to the left. Actually, looking at the stats, I don't think Elliot did have 100 because Foreman had a couple of good runs. Yeah, that was actually a really rough game. We just, I guess to be fair, we didn't really have that many attempts. Uh, yards per carry wasn't that bad. I uh, really don't know who the hell is going to be on the thumbnail because no one really... I guess David Irvin will be on the thumbnail for sure. Defense, uh, The defense played very well, definitely. Like Even with Russell Wills in there, the pressure was actually really insane. Uh, David Irvin with three and a half sacks. Exum with a, a sack. Lawrence with a sack. Here we're just going to go over the uh, awards. So nothing too special there. But like I said, if you guys couldn't tell who we were going to play against, we were, of course, playing against the Eagles. Three games on the season we took the first one in an amazing game of the year style fashion then we lost to the eagles in a very uh not game of the year style fashion so we're gonna see what this one is and uh i i don't want to give you too much of a spoiler but it's a little closer than this one let's just say that's all i'm gonna say about that and uh all the awards a little disappointed we didn't get rookie of the year with uh xavier woods I think we deserved it, but obviously EA gets to decide, and for the most part, middle linebacker is going to win that award. Quarterback is winning offensive, middle linebacker is winning the defensive. I feel like Xavier Rhodes deserved it only because A, he was consistent throughout the year. You know, Owuze, he had a great chance at it. He, he started just as strong, if not stronger than Xavier Woods, but ended up terribly. And two, a safety being number two, that is very rare. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys come back for next video. Tomorrow should be Packers and Rebuild. So, until next video, see ya!